Hey guys, I'm back with another unboxing video. Yes, first April unboxing. Um, I don't know how tall these figurines are. Um, if some of y'all may probably do know, can you leave it down in the comments below? Because I just picked this up from Walmart today. And, uh, it's a little Rosalina Asha figure. And yes, like I said, it's the first of April's unboxing. Going to, like, probably do, like, two or three unboxings. And film it, upload it, and all that. So, yeah, it's the Jack Pacific Super Mario Rosalina collectible figure. So, yeah, don't know what series this is, because, again, I'm not familiar with the Super Mario Jack Pacific action figures. They have Ice Mario, Spike Top, Bomb Om, Bob Bomb, Bob Bomb. What a confusing name for a fictional character. Cat Luigi and Rosalina. So let's go get ahead and get her out of the bag. Sh I mean, box, shall we? Okay, guys, so... This is actually pretty cute, actually, but... Her head slightly rotates. Her arm rotates at 360 degrees. Same thing with this one right here, but sadly, her little... Magic wand thing does not come off. And I got a figure comparison to my Biggie Ash beer I unboxed last May. I want to say this is like two, but like four inches or whatever. And this is like six inches. So, yeah, guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hey guys, I am back with another unboxing video, and yes, I just filmed an unboxing video like almost an hour ago uh, from the Jack Pacific uh, Rosalina Ashen figure you saw me unbox. So yes, doing an actual WWE Ashen figure unboxing. Um, I haven't done a WWE Ashen figure unboxing, I want to say like since the 1st of February on two basic series 130 Ash figures and this one's from a uh, basic series 128 and this one's the radar superstar edge earn your scars i want to say this is a it's a tire from um i want to say elimination elimination chamber when you spear roman reigns after roman reigns defeated uh Brian Danielson, aka Daniel Bryan. So yeah, uh, here he is in the plastic case, and he is a technician. I don't get some edge figures sometimes on why he's like a technician, and then he's a striker in like last year's video game and this year's video game. So in a series, you can get Big E, Sasha Banks, who is. Actually, now in New Pro Japan Wrestling, MVP, and Walking Wild. So, yeah, um, anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get Edge out of his uh packaging. Okay, guys, so got him out of the package, and uh, okay, so here he is. Um, to be honest, they literally made his, and yes, sunlight is in my way, but I really don't care at this point right now about the sunlight, because I like the sunlight. So yeah, uh, same articulation, like every, some, like, basic figures. Pretty stiff, and I realize he has, like, different pants on, like, jogging, joggers. Is it joggers or jogging pants? I don't know. Or sweatpants with, like, a belt on. It's ready, so earn your scars. Nothing on the back. There's tattoo one, tattoo two, tattoo three, and tattoo four. Got a little cool man bun there. Which, um, that's it, guys. Uh, that's for this unboxing. I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Also, predicts on per, 
Comment down below on who you guys want to see in the Cell match. Like the match that him and Finn Balor is going to have at WrestleMania tonight or tomorrow. Let me know in the comments below. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Alright guys, so back in the car once again. I had to film in the back, all the way in the back. <sighs> because, uh, one... Why not film all the way in the back? Because I filmed there like three times for my last unboxings. So, yep. Got something from eBay. Bought it like three days ago, which I didn't even know it was going to come in today. Which I thought it wouldn't be here until like Monday. But I'm glad it's here now. And it's a Nintendo character. It's not like from Fire Emblem, Mario, or uh, from Legend of Zelda, or any of those characters. It's a character for Kirby. I just got it on my mind for a month now, so here we go. It is Susie from Kirby. Uh, yep, I actually really wanted this character for a while now, and I never got a chance to get her, and now I finally do. Okay. Don't know. Here she is out of the bag. And it's made by Little Buddy. Yeah, Little Buddy. He. See? The Little Buddy tag. Gonna take the tag off. And a little hanger off, too. So I'm gonna take the little hanger off. So I'll be right back in the next scene. And I forgot to tell you guys, she is number 20. So, yep. And it's an all-star collection, too. And here she is out of the bag. Um, yes, if y'all know, I'm actually filming a plush skit with her. With two characters for, like, the skits I've been doing for nearly almost a couple of years now. And, yes, we're going to have John Cena and Kirby in it, in this skit. But anyway, guys, be us like, comment, subscribe. Hey, guys, I am back with another unboxing video. Yes, I know, I did an unboxing video like two days ago. And this is going to be on the Hasbro's Marvel Studios Avengers Endgame Titan Hero Series Groot. Uh, just letting y'all know, this is actually a re-release of the exact same Groot you saw from the Infinity War line. Here's front, the side, the back. A tree-like humanoid Groot branches out to team up and defend the galaxy. So, yeah, um, let's go ahead and get him a little bit out of the box, shall we? Alright, guys, I'm sorry I messed with my tripod a bit, but here's Groot. And he doesn't look like he's 12 inches at all. I mean, he got the little angry look. Pretty much everything else. Also, at the back, too. Where you have the like the little Iron Spire or Cat America, Thor, Star Lord, backpack and plug it in. And there it is. So yeah guys, I'm gonna probably use Groot and a plush kid, cause uh not for like a like for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, because that movie will be out in theaters by next month on the 5th. But anyway, hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Peace. Alright guys, so I'm back with another Happy Meal toy a unwrapping. Now, yes, I did win the bid on this one. And I know y'all gonna ask what is a bid. Well, you know like how you guys do like a bet on eBay, like how much you can pay for the item. Say like say like a, a pin, no, like a toy, like a John Cena toy for like a two dollars. And you pay like ten dollars for shipping and handling. So that's what I did with this one right here, but I paid a, but I only used a dollar on this, and I can't wait to open it. So, yes, I actually bought this just last Wednesday, Wednesday of last week, actually. And I'm going to say, I am pretty am excited for this, and yes, this is actually from the Super Mario movie, which came out way back in December of last year. So, let's go ahead and get it out of the bag and show you guys what it looks like. So yeah, this is for the uh, 
Just, uh, nope. Door, you are not shutting on me. Um, if y'all want to know where I'm filming at, I'm not filming up there. I'm actually filming back here where I put groceries at and where I've been normally doing my plus skits back here. So, yeah, this is toy number one, Jumping Mario. Uh, yes, I know I didn't do a review on this months ago after New Year's Day. Well, I did take a look at and reviewed uh, Spinning Peach. You know, it's like a little spinning uh, Princess Peach figurine. So, yeah, we got a Mario here. So, let's go ahead and take him out the bag, shall we? Okay. And yes, again, I am just doing this video because of uh, the new Super Mario, I mean, the Super Mario Brothers movie will be opening in theaters tomorrow. And I'm actually surprised it got delivered this morning at 10 o'clock. So yeah, let's go ahead and do the little gimmick what he does. So yep, he, all he does is just jump out of the pipe. I think it's pretty cool. And here's the little hat. Really cool they put stitches on it. Like, you know, like sewing stitches. Like you're sewing your own hat. So yeah, I think it's going to be my favorite. Because if y'all know, I am a Mario main on Super Smash Brothers. So yeah, it's really cool. They actually put them in a pipe. Which they, I think they did on the other toys. I really don't really know. But yeah, pretty cool. Um, also, letting you guys know, Mario, Luigi, Daisy, Peach, Rosalina, Wario, Waluigi, Pauline are my favorite. Uh, so is Link, um, Zelda, Fox, Falco from, uh, Star Fox, Marth, Woy, Ike, Lucina, Corrin, like the female Corrin, and female Byleth, and female Robin, and the... New uh, character from Fire Emblem Engage. I can't remember his slash hers name with the Pepsi hair, but uh, you get what I'm getting at. Um, anyway, guys, so comment down who is your favorite Mario character. Let me know down in the comments below. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. All right, guys. So, yep, I am back with another unboxing video. So. We got this one from Kryptonite Warehouse, which is where I bought the Deadpool plush. Another one's like from Dragon Shriding? It's actually the same people I bought that uh, Yang body pillow. That Yang, uh, I don't know why I said body pillow. That was just weird. That Yang plush pillow. So this one, we're opening up first, because... To be honest, I've been really wanting to get this one since, like, well, bought it on Amazon, like, two days ago. Which I thought this one would be here till like, Monday the 10th of April, which is, like, the 7th right now. So, yep, and it's actually a Financial Praise plush. Uh, I know y'all gonna ask, then I already did a Financial Phrase Plus E video about like two months ago, but yes, they just got done filming the movie yesterday at Blumhouse and uh, Universal Studios, and they're releasing the movie some point by the um, four days before Halloween, and yes, here it is, Bonnie. Is actually the tie dye plush. Bought one, my friend, one of these a few months ago. There he is. Better than I expected. Now, I did order another. Finance of Price plushie, which I hope it will be here tomorrow. And it's going to be from Security Bre Breach. So, yeah, I just needed Bonnie, which is not the regular Bonnie. It's just tie-dye Bonnie. But first, let me take the tag off, and then 
And that, see, we it looks like without the tag off. There's the tag. And a little other tag from Funko. So, yep. Here it is. Uh, so, the one I recently unboxed was on the Walmart exclusive... Well, I didn't actually unbox it. I just reviewed it. Which was on the Liberty Chica plush. But, anyway, guys. If you guys like, comment, subscribe. Okay, so, for... Two months now, yes, I thought I was going to get, like, the these little ruby plushies I told you guys about. Uh, they're, like, $25.99 from this website I got it from. First one I got was Yang. This one, I think, is going to be, like, whoever it is. There's Yang, Ruby, Blake, Weiss. So, yeah, uh... And by the way, I'm only just doing this because, um, because I'm trying to wait till the 25th so I can unbox the Justice League crossover Ruby movie that's coming out on Blu-ray in 4K this month at the 25th, on the 25th of April. So, yeah. And also, this too, I also got a bag right here also to put in so it doesn't get wet because I paid like $30 for this. So, here we go. Oh, I like that. I like that pattern. Oh, my goodness. That pattern looks cute. So, yep. I got wise. Next one probably my guess is probably Blake. I'm not using my unboxing knife because I am using ouch my key. Oh my god, yes, it's so fluffy, but not too fluffy. I don't know. Oh. Because I did buy this last week. And it's from the same company that did the Yang one, too. Only well, doesn't have that much fluff in it. Or whatever. And it's also kind of wobbly, too. So, yeah, guys. Uh, comment out who is your favorite Ruby character. Because mine has to be, like, the Team Ruby ones. Like, Blake, Rye, Wise... Yang and Ruby herself. But anyway, guys, if you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hey, guys, so, yeah, um, just letting y'all know, I'm doing another unboxing, and look at this box. This is a pretty box. I might actually keep the box, by the way, because it's actually raining, and it's from... The Mar Marvel Marvelous Miss Mysel. They're actually doing like a final season for it, so yep. Um, so if y'all remember yesterday I told you guys I was doing another unboxing video, so yes, I am doing another unboxing video. And this one is actually going to be on another Friday Night Freddy's character. <sighs> and yes, I've been up since 4 o'clock this morning, so please excuse me yawning. So, here we go. Also, I got some good news, guys, about the Finance of Freddy's movie, which I forgot to mention. 
but you probably might hear me mention it, like, tomorrow, because the movie a, well, is not only coming to Peacock, it will be released in theaters also for Halloween. Oh! They didn't actually put it in a bag. Okay. So yeah, here she is, Glamrock Chica. Uh, yes, I did get the Liberty Chica, like, two months ago. Which was for a Walmart exclusive. Because my friend asked me what will I do after I get the, the tie-dye Bonnie plush that y'all saw me unbox yesterday from yesterday's unboxings. And I told her I'm probably going to get, like, Glamlock Chica, you know. There we go. So, here she is, uh, which... I don't know why they put her, put her in a bag, but it is what it is. Oh, her eyes. Huh. Her eyes looks, the one eye looks purple. The other one just looks blue. She got the, like, the little leopard green here. Pink right here. And I am going to take the tag off, show you guys what the tag looks like. Was it off? All right, guys. So here is the, um, Five Nights at Freddy's security breach. Uh, tag you probably may saw on the Roxanne Wolf plush. She I reviewed a, a few months back. So here she is. Very much different than the re regular Chica, cause the regular one she's yellow. This one she's like a want to say like a robot chicken color, like you know the chicken from Robot Chicken. Yeah, she got the green paws. Or chicken feet. Um, but yes, I will do a comparison with this one in the next video with the Liberty Chica and this one. But, uh, yeah, or I'm pretty sure I might get getting more Five Nights at Freddy's characters. I'm not for sure. But anyway, guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hey, everyone. Brett Messer here. I'm back with another unwrapping um, video. So, yeah, I just woke up, like, not that long ago. Because I woke up, like, 4 o'clock this morning. Uh, went back to bed, like, a few hours later. Then, 4 hours later, I woke up. So, yeah, I bought this on eBay, like, a couple days ago. And I thought I was going to receive it in the mail yesterday. But, this, but... It was delayed because of uh, delivery issues and all of that. But um, anyway, guys, let's go ahead and see what it is. So, if you're not familiar with the show, The Mask Singer, it's on Fox. They are they are doing the ninth season. And these actually came out to McDonald's last week. Uh, they also had these in the UK also. Uh, which sadly I was at McDonald's last week. They did not have the Happy Meal boxes, nor the toys. So, which good luck getting trying to get the Happy Meal toys. So this is Toy Five. I'm a red and I have a long, but she tell who am I? Well, I think I know who this is. So let's go ahead and get them out of the bag, shall we? All right, guys. So we finally figured out who it is. It is Fox. Not Fox McCloud from Star Fox or Boxing from Five Nights at Freddy's. It's Fox from Max Singer. Which is just weird to show the character name is Fox. And the network is Fox Network. Ain't that crazy? But anyway guys, if you guys like, comment, subscribe. Alright guys, so... Yep, so y'all saw the video yesterday evening of me talking about, uh, in an unboxing video. So here it is. Look at this. It looks like you can build, use the body for a creeper from Minecraft. Pretty cool, right? So let's go ahead and get this out and show you guys what it is. 
All right, guys, so, yes, like I said, I said it was going to be a Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 related. Uh, which... I guess that's, uh, that's my brother's PS5, which... He's not playing the game, he's just, like... Doing something on it, but he's not here right now, but... Um, yeah, so, I didn't know... Oh, they actually had these out early. I thought these won't be released till, like... Some point by the end of the month, but I think they actually got this in early. So did Groot and Adam Warlock. And yes, this is promoting for the new movie that's coming out in theaters by the 5th of May. So yeah, let's go ahead and get us out of the box, shall we? Okay guys, so here he is out of the box. And yes, I forgot to mention it is actually Star-Lord. And yes, they're from... It's He's wearing the new outfit for the movie. Hollow plastic. And Chris Pratt's face on the figure. Which I'm actually surprised they didn't even actually use a mask for this one. Because the other four or five, I don't know how many Star Lord uh, Titan Hero series figures are there. But yeah, again, this is, it's actually from the new movie. And I'm surprised they didn't actually use the little FX feature like they do with the wrestling figures for Mattel. You don't get the little thing in the back. But anyway, guys, if you guys like, comment, subscribe. Alright, guys, so, yep, uh, got an unboxing I'm going to do, and yes... I haven't done an unboxing from Baby Bad Toy Store, or I haven't done one um, from them like since two months ago from that Seth Rollins Ash figure, and this one's pretty special to me because it's from um Chainsaw Man. Been with one this since um didn't get it on Great Easter's website because been sold out. And they got them in stock just like a month ago. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, guys, I'll be right back. Alright, guys, so here's the sticker. Which I'm actually surprised they've been sending me stickers lately. Well, only second time they've been sending me stickers. So, yeah, here's the character. And that is Power from Chainsaw Man. So here she is out the bag. Here's the tag. Uh, yes, these recently just came out last week on the Baby Bad Toy Store website. So gladly I got this in my anime collection. Uh, the, sh the show is now anime is now on Hulu, so y'all can go ahead and watch it on Hulu if you guys want. Let's go ahead and take the tag off and see what she what the tag looks like. Without the it on the plushie. So here we go. Alright guys, so here's the tag. So yep, uh there's Chainsaw Man right there. Again, it's from Country Well World, but you can actually watch it on Hulu if you guys have Hulu. And here is the plushie. Pretty well detailed, dude. I'm surprised she actually had the horns on the head. Kind of reminds me of... She looks like, exactly like uh, Batman a little bit. And a little piece of her that came off. But, um... Anyway, guys, hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Alright, guys, so... Final unboxing of April is here. So... I need that out. So, yep. Ah. Uh, pretty am excited for this. Now, yes, today's April 25th. Been excited for this all day. Well, mostly all night, guys. I didn't want to back to bed until, like, 5 in the morning. But 
it is what it is. So, yep, I actually pre-ordered this, and it's the movie I was telling you guys about. I'm sorry, I, I'm trying to, like, see the, like, the little minutes on the phone, and then and I can't barely see them because the uh, sunlight is uh, cause it's sunny out here. And it's not even that hot. It's, like, cold. I was out here this morning filming a plush video, and it's, like, really cold out here. Don't know why. But, anywho, let's go ahead and get this unboxed, shall we? Alright, guys, so here it is. It is the Justice League crossover Ruby Superheroes and Huntsman Part 1. Yeah, I thought they were only just going to do one movie of this, but I didn't know they are also going to make a part two of this. And it's a hundred years since Warner Brothers has been around. But, yeah, uh, we get to see Superman, Wonder Woman, Cyborg, Batman teaming up with Ruby, Rice, Blake, and Yang. And it feels pretty big, too. Pretty scary what's in it. But, okay, yeah, it feels pretty big. Here it is without the slip cover. And probably they might put this on Max, aka HBO Max, because they had to change the name of it a couple weeks ago. Also forgot to mention, Flash was in this, which, I don't know why he wasn't in the crossover comic book, but... And so it's uh, the other one, I forgot her name, the one with the fox powers, but Fixin, yeah, Fixin, because I remember that character from uh, Lego DC Super Villains. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. I ain't gonna remove this. Check out the disc. Oh my gosh, that is pretty cool. And you can actually see through it too. Um, go and probably watch it. And review it. And I can get it. Here is the digital code, which I'm not gonna show. And my biggest question is, why did they make it, it rated PG? I mean, some an DC animated movies like uh, Superman, Doomsday was PG-13, but pretty violent, though, actually. But yeah, guys, uh, that's it for this unboxing of Justice League, Ruby, crossover Ruby, or whatever how you call it. Superheroes and Huntsman. Uh, and some of y'all gonna probably ask, when will I probably do my next movie unboxing? I don't know, because the movies I really want uh, to do unboxing of when they come out on Blu-ray is like Evil Dead Rise, because I didn't get to see it in theaters, uh, and Super Mario Brothers movie, which came out like a couple weeks ago. But anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe.